Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite event. So to do this challenge simply you need to land here exactly at this exact location. Just land on it. And this is the first part of the challenge. The second part to go to the highest area on Shifty Shaft. So let's go to there. And yes, after reaching the top, the challenge is done. And now guys, let's talk about another challenge. And this one is to travel 500 meters on foot. And this challenge should, shouldn't be hard at all. Like, let's say from my distance to there, it's 500 meters. No, let's reduce it. Yeah. So something like this. You need to reach from here to here on foot. Of course we have a sprinting thing so the sprinting should help a lot since you are moving faster like do you see what happened now i traveled almost 100 meters in a few seconds so all you have to do is just reaching there without dying in a single match and you will be able to complete your challenge today's challenge is simply to swim in icy water of course all this area count as icy water so you need to keep swimming for 250 meters yeah, so try. I think you should go into this direction. This will this will be faster since we are moving with the current. Let me see, one hundred meters. Okay, this is another one hundred meters. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, we are swimming really fast. And as you can see, the 250 meters is already done. Easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is how you can easily swim 250 meters in icy water. And now, guys, let's talk about another challenge. And this one is to gain 150 shields in different matches. Of course, if you are playing a solo match, all you have, all you can get is only 100 shields. And that's mean after getting the 100 shield, someone need to damage you. And you need to get another 50 shield after that. Which is not easy because you might die during that. Like, you need to wait until someone actually damage you. Then you gain another 50 shield. Okay, I have another 50 shield now. So I need to find someone who damaged me and he doesn't kill me so I can use the other 50 shield. This is in case if you are doing it in solo. If you are doing it in Team Rumble, of course, it's way easier since in Team Rumble... You can just kill yourself, then use the other 50 shield after that. Well, I think you should do it in Human Blitz. It will be way easier than doing it in solos. And I guess, guys, if you're a solo match and you want to do it, you still can do it. You can use simply a grenade like this. Damage yourself. So now I lose. I lost my shield. Ooh, okay, okay. I didn't mean that. <laughs> now you can use this. Shield. Yeah. And now I have 150 shield in a single match. Easy. Let me first explain how this challenge is going. And we're gonna talk later about which mood will be better. So let's start with how to do the challenge. Simply, every time you see this purple storm, close this in on the, this circle. This will be count as surviving one storm circle. So yeah, every time this one hits this one, the big one hits the, the smaller one. This will be count as a storm circle. Of course, the circle will start moving after two minutes. If you are doing it in solos. And after the two minutes, there will be another timer. Which will be counting until it hits the other circle. And simply, if you are doing this in solo match. It will take longer to hit the first circle. And then also will be longer to hit the second circle. But then after that... Every circle will be will be a really low timer to be had. So if you want to do this challenge in solos, it will be easy if you're a good player and you can survive until you maybe are top two players or something. So in this case, solo match will be better for you. But if you want to do it in Team Rumble, it's still you can do it in Team Rumble, by the way. And it will be also fast uh, in two cases. If you are want to be AFK, because in Team Rumble, if, even if you died, you will be, uh, you know... Uh, respawn again so it will be a really good method if you if you want to stay fk and do the challenge 
also in case if you are kind of dying every time you land in solo match you can you still can do it in team ramble and in team ramble you literally doesn't matter if you died or not you will be able to survive at least three to four storm circles every match if you continued until the end of the match and before i end the video guys i want to recommend to and before I end this video guys, I want to recommend to not leave the match like this. Don't leave it like this. Make sure you kill yourself by any method. Just maybe grab something. If you're doing it in solos of course, in Team Rumble doesn't matter. Just kill yourself like this and don't leave the match. Okay? And for the last two challenge guys, which is collect capsules in a Dragon Ball Adventure Island or collect a Dragon Ball in a Dragon Ball Adventure Island. As you can see, this is the map code. If you try to copy this code, uh, just try to copy it. Or I mean, just write it down in something, then copy this code, then go to here, island code and paste this code and press enter. You will notice that you will get this message, this message, error message that the island code is invalid because Fortnite forgot to publish this map before the challenge. That's why until now there is no uh, map and you cannot complete the, these two challenges. But later, of course, Fortnite will fix the problem and they will, um, you know, update the, this map. So I will just publish the video now and later I will put at the end of the screen a guide for the last two challenges. Just make sure to go to this guide and you will be able to know how to complete the last two challenges. Okay, I will give it at the end of the screen. Thanks a lot guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye!